Hello, I'm Alex Avellaneda with the SMA Solar Academy. Today, we're going to talk about the installation and commissioning of the Data Manager M powered by NXOS. The SMA Data Manager M is a data logger that acts as a system gateway and energy manager. It can support communication with up to 50 devices, such as PV inverters, battery inverters, energy meters, input-output systems, and it's powered by NXOS. NXOS is a new platform that is able to manage the flow of all energy vectors and optimize usage. To begin, the data manager needs to be installed securely on the DIN rail in an enclosure that provides at least two inches of clearance above and below, and it can only be mounted horizontally. The device is powered by a 24 volt DC power supply that is not included. For best practice, we're also including a power supply breaker. The wires from the power supply are connected to the data manager with this two pin plug that is included in the accessories bag. To connect the two pin plug, you need to strip off the cable sheath approximately 0.24 inches and plug the conductors into the conductor entries and then close the conductor entries. Now that we've mounted the data manager on the DIN rail, we're ready to connect the power supply with the included 2-pin plug and connect the data manager to the router using any of the two RJ45 ports on the bottom of the device. There is also one RS485 port for future development, one USB port for firmware updates, and six digital inputs for active power control. Additionally, on the top, there is a function button for resetting the device. Now, we're ready to power up the data manager. When the breaker is turned on, you will see the LEDs light up. Once the data manager is powered on, we can begin the commissioning process. For this purpose, we require to have a computer connected to the same local area network as the data manager via a router. In order to commission the data manager, we need to access the integrated web UI. For this purpose, we need to open our browser and enter the serial number on the address bar. The serial number of the data manager can be found on the label on the right-hand side of the device. If you see a security warning, proceed for the connection. The login page of the web UI opens after a few seconds. At this point, you need to select Continue on the login page of the user interface. Create an administrator account and select Register. Observe that only one user with administrator authorization can be created on each data manager. The installation assistant will open. Follow the installation assistant steps listed and make the settings appropriate for your system. The first step is device registration. At this point, you can select the automatic update option. The next step is SMA inverters and Modbus TCP devices registration. This includes the Watson Mark II energy meter and other third-party input-output devices. Once all devices connected to the data manager have been discovered, you will see the full list with their serial numbers. For Modbus TCP devices, you must select the appropriate mapping from the drop-down menu you can connect and select up to three devices. Next, you need to configure the energy meter depending on the application. A message will confirm the successful commissioning of the system. We can then go back to the home window where you will see the dashboard view of energy and power of the system and the status of all the devices connected to the plant. Once you have carried out the first installation on the user interface of the data manager, you can register the system in Sony Portal NXOS the new SMA monitoring portal powered by NXOS Energy Management System. For this process, you need to enter the address www.nxos.sonyportal.com on the navigation bar of your browser. Once there, you need to either register as a new user or log in as an existing user. Next, you can use the System Setup Assistant, which is a step-by-step -step guide for the registration of your system in Sony Portal. To access the Setup Assistant, you need to go to the Configuration menu in the wheel icon on the left-hand sidebar and select Create System. Next, you need to add devices to your system by entering PIC and RID codes as previously done on Sony Portal. After all devices have been entered, you can create the pivot system and go back to the home window, where you will have the dashboard view of the plant with energy and power production as well as other relevant information on your system. And that's it for the installation and commissioning of the Data Manager M powered by NXOS. If you would like to learn more, please visit the product page at www.sma-america.com. I'm Alex Avellaneda. Thank you for joining us.